Chapter 15. Ma has not been gone that long, yet it looks like a tiny, like a month's worth of dirty laundry has piled up. Both of my school uniforms need washing, and Baba is almost out of clean clothes. So on Saturday morning, I get up early to tackle another task that Ma somehow find time, found time to do, and that I took for granted. Hauling extra water to the small tiled space behind our house that doubles as our place to wash ourselves is no easy chore. I remember seeing Ma beat our clothes and bedding against a washing stone to get them clean, so I mimic her. I'm soaking wet, but still sweating by the time I hang the clothes on the line to dry. When Baba comes home and sees the laundry drying in the breeze, he pats me on the head and smiles. I'm trying to study, and Baba's resting when his phone rings. Without a word, he hands it to me. Mini meow, I hear Sanjay say. Can you hear me? How did he know I needed to speak to him? I've missed him so much that I've been wearing his t-shirts to sleep, but I don't tell him that. Instead, I say, I'm here, but not if you call me Mini Meow. He laughs, and it feels good to squabble over my silly name, to remember a time when that felt important. I climbed up on the roof all by myself, I brag. He sputters, no, you hate that creaky ladder. How did you become so adventurous? Who knows, I tease him. Maybe I'll start jumping from house to house like you and Amit. Minnie, I said you're adventurous, not foolish, he says. Remember what happened to Amit? I was just joking, I say. But Sanjay is not kidding when he says, remember, trouble can take a minute to get into and a lifetime to get out of. Now you sound just like Baba, Sanjay, I say. And then I add, hopefully not a lifetime, just a few months. Don't hold your breath, Minnie. I think I'm here for a while. Well then, at least you like it there. I do, Sanjay says. If it weren't for missing you all, it'd be perfect. And Amit, how's he doing? Not surprisingly, it turns out our Amit's a city boy. There's not much wheeling and dealing for him to do on the farm, and he misses the kids he rapped with. I stopped to listen to them a few days ago, I said. They definitely need his skills. No one makes rhymes like Amit. That's for sure. He's trying to get a group together here. It's funny listening to them learning to keep the beat. But anyway, he really can't wait to get back to the neighborhood. Amit says he never wants to live anywhere else, even when he's a star. I'll be sure to remind him of that when he is a star, I say.